guys. So I'm headed to my local Winn Dixie because I seen an ad on Craigslist the other day that uh, was very interesting. Um, iMac G3s. They go for around 50 to 80 bucks on eBay. And sometimes you see them at the flea markets for like 30 or so. But either way, they're collector's items at this point. And I have one, but it's not in the best of condition. And it doesn't have the original uh, doesn't have the original keyboard and mouse. Um, so, I met someone on Craigslist. I was just scrolling through Craigslist looking for cars. And I seen somebody have, who just wanted to give, give it away for free. <laughs> Interesting, right? Well, see, they were, are moving to Canada, and they have no use for it anymore. So, they just want to give it away. Not selling it, just want to give it away to a good home. And I find that great, because they could have easily thrown it on the trash. <laughs> Which would suck. So, now I'm just about to wait and get the iMac. I should be here in about 10 minutes. I'm very excited. I look messed up because I just woke up. It's like 9.08. I don't like waking up till 10. It's really one of the only days I, other than Monday that I get to sleep. So, But hey, this is worth it. And now we wait. It's here, it's really here. Wow. It's in great looking condition. Like, it doesn't look like there's a single scratch on this thing. And it's like, I can't wait to get home too because I have, it's not the original keyboard, but check this out. It's the hockey puck mouse. I never thought I'd get on my hands on one of these. The hockey puck mouse. And I believe I have a matching keyboard at home as well. I'm so excited right now. Okay, guys, let's get home and look at this thing. Guys, it's home. Um, I know my room is a little garbage right now, but it's like I'll clean it off right now so that way I can show this somewhere, somehow, in some room. Like the original hockey puck mouse. Like, wow. And I believe, and this is a, uh, this looks like a G4 white keyboard. I actually needed one of these. So I think mine is messed up. But um, I believe I have an original G3 keyboard with the power button at home. So stay tuned for that one. I'm back and I set it up, sort of. So this is it. I got it. iMac G3 Blueberry. And like, like I said, it came with this hockey puck mouse. This thing is worth is worth a, a little bit by itself already. I mean, I had a G. Actually, my first video was an iMac G3, uh, a snow version. Actually, this one, that one was in a little worse shape than this one is. Like the speakers didn't work right, and it was a little cracked. I still have it somewhere. I believe it's in my shed somewhere. But um, <clears throat> well, let's let's get started. Let's turn this thing on. I believe the ad said it was on uh, I. Mac, uh, not iOS, Mac OS 9.2. We got a bomb. Oh man, that hard drive is just loud. Hey, you got, can you guys hear that hard drive? Uh, that's loud. And we have a happy Mac booting um, Mac OS 9.2 starting up now apparently back in the day these hockey puck mouses were just hard to use move the keyboard out of the way for a second actually it's not that bad 
I kind of like. I mean, you can't rest your entire hand on on the mouse, but it's 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 not that bad. <clears throat> Sorry about this angle. I put this on the stand where my MacBook usually sits next to my bed, so we'll make do. Also, I got that uh, that. Uh, that eyesight camera at the flea market for five bucks. I just added it on there, but uh, we'll get to that later. Okay, so we have a few things on the screen. Let's take you guys off the tripod for a second. Have a little bad camera work. That's not the iMac itself, that's just the uh, refresh rate. Can't keep up with the camera. Let's see, network time error. Your clock is set before 1973. Oh, okay, so looks like the battery has went bad on this thing. Okay, um, let's see if I can get rid of that. Uh, let's go to about this computer. Alright, so this looks like this was the expensive model because let's see, 9.2, uh, let's see, 193 megabytes used on a, on the hard drive. Wow. Oh no, it's virtual memory. Whoops, whoops, virtual memory. Okay, so built-in memory. Let's see, it looks like we have a... 192 megabytes of RAM. Um, I know the bottom of the case said it had 60, 64 megabytes of RAM. Um, hmm. I thought these menus showed a little more, like the processor speed or things like that. I guess not. But um, <clears throat> processor is a. Actually, I'm not really too sure what processor this is. Like, I looked at it at the bottom. I'll. I'll take a picture and I'll show it on the channel a little later. Um, let's see, so what programs do we have installed on this? I am nowhere near like a great user with Mac OS 9. OS 10, yes, but OS 9, no. Uh, how do you get to the applications on this thing? System Profiler. So, we have a software overview. Uh, file sharing is off. Memory overview. Let's see. Um, I know for a fact that this has a 10 gigabyte hard drive. So we have a PowerPC G3 400 megahertz uh, as menu. So I found out that uh, the speakers are a little wonky, like my like my other G3. Sad to say, I thought I was gonna be able to play music on this thing. That's the standard beep for. Uh, Turning the volume up and down. Um, let's see. So let's go over the I/O on the side. A microphone jack. We have a headphone jack. We have two FireWire 400 ports. We have a reset button. Uh, I believe that has something to do with the firmware. A 56k modem, two USB 1.0. Yeah, 1.0, and Ethernet. And all I know is that this is the 1999 model. That's very old. Uh, actually, I do have Ethernet running over here to my Apple TV. Maybe, maybe I can see if it gets on the internet. Ethernet wire going in the back. <clears throat> let's see if an internet browser will work. Uh, let's see, let's go to the applications folder. Uh, Let's go to Mac HD applications. Let's try Internet Explorer. Internet Explorer, the fifth edition. Oh, wonderful Internet Explorer. Don't you all use? Huh. <clears throat> there was an issue loading something. So, how about let's try www. Oh, wait. Was Apple up there? Oh, yeah. Let's try apple slash dot com slash buy. Wow, I like how buy is the first. Hmm. I guess, I guess it's not connected. I guess I gotta give it a little bit. Oh wait, oh, it wasn't shoved all the way in. <coughs> Sorry, I have a cold. Okay, let's try it again. And I just inadvertently opened Outlook Express. Oh, 04. 
deliver this message. And then that. Okay. Let's try apple.com again. Okay, now the. Uh, oh, here we go. Apple. Oh, oh wow, it's working. Retrieving HTML document zero bytes of thirty five kilobytes. It's ten thirty. That is not working. Okay. Let's try a less intensive website like like Google. Let's try Google. And wow. Google worked. Wow. God forbid if I click YouTube, secure connection cannot be established. Okay. Of course. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Let's look up uh, iMac G3. Cool. Wow. iMac G3 on the internet, everyone. Welcome to Vintage Apple World. Using Internet Explorer 5. It looks like it struggles to load anything past Google. Um, Wikipedia? Server reply is invalid. Okay. Uh, images? I make. Yeah. Doesn't look like it's having fun here. I want to play some music, but I don't have a way to get the file on without Mac OS 10. Uh, okay. So, before we shut this guy down, let's try a DVD. Have this DVD right here that I've been holding on to for literal years. The Star Wars episode that we all know and love, episode two. I'm only gonna play just a little bit of it because I don't want to get copyrighted. Because this is the DVD model. Surprisingly, in 1999 to have a DVD model, it must have been expensive. Very expensive. <clears throat> and by the way, the eyesight does not work. I believe I need iOS 10, Mac OS 10 for that. We built a desktop file. Rebuilding the desktop file. I, do I wait? Uh, I hit play. Displaying still. Okay. I think I got it to work. Um, I, I heard it in the background. Present video on screen. Oh, that would be lovely. That would be lovely. Thank you for not having that as a standard option. Here we go. Here we go. And speakers don't like that at all. I need to find some good working speakers for this thing. Okay. How did anyone watch DVDs back in the day on this thing? I mean, well, it's working. All right, that's enough of that. EJ. Oh, the disk drive. It's like kind of works. Cool. So, it has been the iMac G3. Let's go to the special menu. I don't know why it's a special menu to shut it down. 
I'll definitely make a formal review on this later. And for anyone who has been following my channel previously, uh, sorry about the mess over here, um, you all know about my, my iPhone box collection, and it's either the greatest decision or the dumbest decision I've ever made. Uh, uh, I got an iPhone first generation box. Hooray, it's on its way for $64. Oh boy, <clears throat> kind of regret it, but at the same time, it's like I'll never have to search again. So, that has been the iMac G3 with the original hockey puck mouse. Later, I can upload a picture on Facebook with the uh, original keyboard. Alright, um, that's the video for today. More updates later, over and out.